Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to get started very soon with meditation. We're a couple minutes before the hour. Let me know if you hear me okay. Welcome to meditation group. And I'm going to just open the chat. If you don't mind opening the chat. And if you can be in video, it's always a treat for me to be able to see you. I see Joan, welcome, and Danny, and Sandra, and Daniel, and France. Welcome, welcome, and Tove, and Barbara's connecting. Welcome, Miriam, Mia. Welcome, welcome, Sherry, Lavana, Moses, Alric. Awesome to be here with you guys. I'm going to just go ahead and share my screen with you. And I know some of you are maybe interested in today's meditation from the point of view of guiding meditation as well as participating in meditation. So let's just take a minute to look at what the flow of the meditation is going to be. Of course, a lot is left to what shows up on an intuitive level, but it is sometimes nice to know as a participant, as a meditator, what's ahead. And also if you're guiding meditation and learning from me, this form of meditation, then I want you to have kind of this outline. So um, imagining a high place and a low place in nature. This was taught to me by a shamanic counseling teacher, and I found it very helpful in, in myself and in private work. And I think it's helpful also in, in the group space too. And it's just for each person, it will be unique. What's the lowest place they can imagine in the natural world and what's the highest place. And the idea of this is that we are contained energetically on earth here between those two spaces. So just in case somebody has a tendency to go really far out in their practice in a way that might create some disassociation or a sense of spaciness, this keeps us as, you know, closer, you could say, to earth, which is nice to be, nice to be here on earth, even with all that happens on earth, we're connected, we are earth. So then we're going to learn a new way to ground our energy with a ball of earth. Um, more to come on that. And we're going to invite presence to surround us that might be voiced in different ways. It might be with, with, um, I try to use very universal language for you, you might have your own unique way of inviting source, presence, your higher self, guides, angels, whatever, whatever is your way is the way to do that. And then we're going to do an energy practice where we move through our body. And my intention today is to invite you to bring resources from nature as a method of supporting your relaxation, your embodiment, your, um, your very sp specific way of connecting with your energy centers in a way that's healing and nurturing. So that's kind of the theme you could say of today is each of us connecting in our own unique way while doing this together as a group really can support our meditation practice and our healing. And then from there, from that energy experience, we're going to, we're going to just be, and we're going to do a kind of meditation practice that um, involves no knowing, no doing, and a lot happens and the meditation is the teacher. And that comes from different kinds of practice is just being it can be called just sitting um zogchen different practices where uh the space of meditation is is the practice 
Then we're going to bring in inviting two parts of ourself to be with us. And this is where we get into more of the, the inner healing and the mystical journey of our individual self. And we're going to send healing to ourself in different times. Could be just yesterday and tomorrow. And that's not just adjust. That's enormous to, to be kind to yourself yesterday and kind to your future self tomorrow. And then we're going to ground at the end of the meditation with our center flow of energy that can be called the central channel or just felt or, or known as, as a centering point in the body or a line, a, a kind of flow space. Okay, that that was a lot of um, thinking. So no more thinking is needed. Welcome if you just joined. Um, as, as I guide today, my hope is that you really listen to your own words, your own experiences, as we invite resources to fill our, our energy points in the body not really points like whole spaces. One person might experience or know a quality of a flower, someone else a rainbow, someone else a waterfall, someone else a mountain, a tree. It's it's going to be unique to you. I will give suggestions, but always let my suggestions sort of roll off you and let your own experience fill in the space. You never need to visualize anything. You can think it, you can know it, you can sense it, you can be with it as though you were telling yourself a story. So let go of any desire to kind of see it, to see it, see it, see it. That that tends to be our desire to see it. And for many people, for like 80% of people, visualizing doesn't come naturally when they're meditating. All right. And um, this new form of grounding came as I was preparing for today. So we're going to start with that and, and we'll see how it goes. Um, but let's first just, and if you want to even write it down, you can write it down in the chat or think it or be with it in some way, imagining a very low place, low in terms of low to the ground place in nature that you know. So I always think of a creek in a town where my our children grew up in Ashland, Oregon, and, and there was this creek we would often go to and kind of the low point in the creek, I think of that spot. And I, and I feel what those glistening rocks were like. I imagine the cold water. But what is your low place in nature? Low to the ground. It could be right at sea level. Where would that be for you? Let yourself let yourself know that in details. And just notice right now how you're breathing as you imagine. Notice your breath. And just being with that low place in nature will probably start to Settle everything down a little and just notice as you breathe how it feels to let your exhale also release and center your body, noticing your posture. It's nice if you can to just take a moment to let your back feel long, whether you're sitting or lying down, standing up taking a moment to let your back feel long. What is that like? Yet comfortable. We want our body comfortable. Comfortable, present, ready to support our energy self. And now let's imagine a high place in nature. Can you imagine a mountaintop, a treetop? a high view you've witnessed before in your life, a real place in that you've seen in the world. That's a high place. And one day it might be remembering a tree that was very high. Another day it might be a view from somewhere you visited at some point 
and it, it gave you a, a wide, long, majestic view. Another day you think of a mountain and the top of the mountain. So whatever your perspective is from, whether it's looking up at it or being at that high place, let's just welcome our own way of connecting to this high place in nature. And just breathing and allowing yourself to breathe and connect with this high place in nature. The details of it, the quality of the air, any colors you notice, shapes, textures. That high place in nature. And so now as you're with that high place and you have also been with that low place in nature, low as in down, close to the ground, these are not moods, these are, these are places. Allow your body to feel the grounding of the low place and the elevation of the high place. And knowing that you, your spirit, your soul, your psychology, your thoughts can stay in a really comfortable way within the high and the low. And just breathing with that. Letting go now of of any need to visualize or even to think. It's okay if thoughts come because that's what the mind does. The mind thinks just like our stomach produces enzymes and our lungs breathe, our mind will think and that's okay. But we can just know that it does that and we don't have to we don't have to worry about it. Let's invite into each of our unique meditation, let's each invite a surrounding presence of kindness, of source energy, whatever that is for you. It might be your higher self, it might be guides, angels, it might be a frequency, like, and it might even be a musical quality, a note or a rhythm. It might be a connection you have with the divine. And so just knowing you have this around you on every side, also within you, perhaps you touch your heart or connect with the smile within your heart. And just breathing there a moment in your heart space. Whatever is going on for you, whatever the climate is today, of feelings, of doing, whatever the climate, allow the heart to be there for you, your own energy heart, like a warm, loving space that knows you, accepts you. And maybe there's a sigh or some release of flicking the fingers or twisting if anything is needed to let go of as you allow your own your own heart space to be here present for you let's ground our energy now just imagining if you're this might be a little easier if you're sitting in a chair, but please do it if you're on the ground or lying down as well. Imagining a beautiful ball that you're sitting on. So if you're lying down, you can still imagine sitting. And it's as though this ball is, have you ever seen those office ball chairs that people sit on or exercise on? 
this is your unique ball chair and it is filled with qualities of earth element it might be green it might be mossy it might be it might have the smell of a forest make your own chair it doesn't have to be a ball chair it could be a bed even let's go with whatever your position is and create this surface under you that is made of earth and we'll each have our own unique earth chair So just take a couple breaths now, letting your lower body feel the support of the earth chair. Notice if it's a ball, how it is all around and what fills the ball. If it's a more like chair chair, then notice, notice the qualities of the chair that are like the earth. Do trees make up the legs of the chair? Is there a mountain at your back? If your earth is a bed, let the bed be qualities of the earth. And just letting your body accept and enjoy earth. Grounding your energy just through this knowing of earth. Thinking, feeling, perhaps sensing the textures, the air, the smells, the colors. And maybe one thing keeps showing up. And that's beautiful. That's your unique way of connecting with that earth grounding energy. From here, let's travel a little into our body in a way that's comfortable for you. So if it feels better to be a little on the outside of your body, then you can be there. If it feels good to go within the body, you can be there. So let's just start with our sits bone, this, the part of our body that's connecting with the surface under us. If you're lying down, go to the space of your hips, the top of your legs. And just breathe in and imagine filling that part of your body with resources that feel really good and needed there. You're trusting your own intuition, your own creative mind and breathing in and breathing out, just connecting with that part of your body. Maybe it needs more flow today, or maybe it needs centering, or maybe it's wanting water element or a bright color or a soft quality. What does your body, your energy need there in this root chakra area? Perhaps you feel the energy center, perhaps you don't. Instead, you're feeling into your legs or your hips. So just honoring yourself. Does a color show up? Or a word? Let's give ourselves a little extra security and say words of comfort here. Inner friendship words. What's it like to speak to your body like a good friend? I'm here for you. Whenever you want to share, I'd love to listen. Listen. 
And when you're ready, moving up into the space of your navel area, just imagining the whole space, lower back to front of the body. You might even want to put a hand on your lower back if it's comfortable to do that. And feeling that space either more on the outside or the inside. That space of power, that space that's relating to you in one, one way that's yours today. It may not be power. It may be a space of mystery, of creativity, or of something else. Is there something in nature that would help that space right now that comes to you? Just allowing whatever shows up that is nurturing, giving, healing, and breathe with it, feeling into this lower back, middle, lower middle part of the body. Maybe you imagine a light filling you, a temperature, words of acceptance, Words that honor your individual qualities, the mystery of you, the unknown. Is there a permission you need here? Grant yourself that permission. And let's move when you're ready up the body into the solar plexus. A hand might want to be above the belly button, feeling at the lower ribs level and on the back of your body too. Just knowing whether you touch it or just know it's there, your upper back, below your shoulder blades. And breathing here, honoring yourself, Bringing in your breath, imagining this part of you receiving gifts from nature. What would be the most healing, empowering, loving gift you can receive here from nature? Let this be unique to you. There's no right or wrong. It's what your body speaks it's what you imagine. This is your resource. And breathe with it. Allow it to fill you, to surround you, to honor you. This is a place of our own personal will, our digestion of thoughts, of feelings, of experiences. So breathing and inviting ourselves to be even more true to our own, our own needs, our own path, our own journey, saying hello to that in your own way. What's it like to say an internal yes, an internal step into our own beingness? as though you're just inhabiting your skin a little more, your truth a little more, your feelings a little more. Mm. Again, there might be a permission. I'm allowed to. I give myself the ability to. And you finish that. Let's move into our heart space when you're ready. Perhaps, perhaps you leave a hand on your belly or your solar plexus and you move a hand to your heart. And just luxuriate here in the heart, breathing in, breathing out. Saying hello, welcome home to the heart, the back of the heart, the shoulder blades, the shoulders the throat, even the upper heart, the rib cage, the lower heart, all that space around it, within it, breathing and filling with your own resources, 
could be sensing a feeling or a quality of breath, of light, a resource from nature, letting that be a gift to your heart space or allowing your heart space to gift you that resource from nature in some way. And just breathing here in your own way, honoring yourself, your loving truth. Perhaps you imagine something or someone you love. Imagine that love for yourself love for the divine, love for nature. And when you're ready, gently moving to the throat, the back of the neck, the jaw, and see what it's like to just honor this, this different part of your body. It's, it's, it's a little bit more delicate, isn't it? And as you breathe and connect around the neck, around the throat, the back of the neck, the jaw, going inside of that part of your body as you breathe, filling it with resources from nature, gifts of healing. Is there an elixir you imagine drinking? Is there a way that you can honor this part of you, this place of expression, of sharing, of listening? And letting this space give to you, give you words of truth, of caring. Let it speak to you. Allow yourself to listen from the throat, from the neck. And if you feel the energy around the throat, in the throat, just feeling, allowing. And we'll move up into the face. Letting yourself feel your cheeks, your ears, the back of your head, your eyes, even feeling your brain and your forehead area. And just being here in the head, perhaps you rest your attention more on the inner top part of the head, like within the forehead or perhaps it's the whole head, the whole face, whatever feels right for you or around your head, around the back of your head, the front of your face, breathing and allowing yourself to receive nature resources. Could be elements, it could be small details, bigger spaces in nature, whatever feels right as you breathe and connect. This is a space often associated with inner seeing, inner knowing, intuition. And so let's see if there's a way that you give yourself that permission it could be a statement that starts with, I allow myself. Is there something you wish to allow yourself to receive, to know, to trust, to imagine, to visualize? Like a gift. Maybe it's a gift of a feeling. And when you're ready, coming to the top of your head now, the connection with the divine, the universe, source. See what it's like just to pet your head, the top of your head a little. 
and say hello to this energy center that might might wish to to be honored today what's it like to honor this place in the body this place of connection with what is universal truthful loving expanded and in your own way breathing and connecting allow anything that is a resource to flow down and into your head through the crown of your head down the center of your body imagining a line like a flow of light or a river that goes from the crown through the center of your body step by step breathing in and breathing out as you allow these resources to pour in and down through the body in your own way letting them go again through every energy center and you can you can decide what it is i receive love i receive grace i receive joy i receive the divine's blessings the universal oneness whatever the words are that come to you let them just slowly easily flow down through the center of your being your body integrating melting with connecting to the energy of this the essence of this and when you reach your seat knowing that your earth ball or your earth chair or your earth bed is there to support you in being present, open, grounded, expanded, centered, so that these blessings of all your energy centers can be held in this loving, this loving quality of you that is unique, genuine your breath your body the universe in you with you and just breathing and being we're going to invite an allowing and a letting go a letting be of all that is and just sitting with ourself maybe three minutes in silence anything that arises is allowed to arise and it's also allowed to fade away anything anything goes here there's no doing and there's no not doing your body breathes And as you notice what shows up, you are meditating. Whatever shows up, the meditation practice is to allow that without pushing it or pulling it in any direction. 
it will show itself and it will fade away. And you're becoming very aware of your moment by moment experience. And there may be spaces of just being without anything showing up. And that's perfect too. Silence is a friend. Emotions show up and emotions fade. And just becoming more aware of your breath and noticing the way you're breathing, the way your body and mind are responding to your breath as you breathe in and as you breathe out. You follow the breath, following the breath now in the body and following the breath as it leaves the body. Then as it joins the body again. And let's just imagine that there's more than one of us. There's three of us. There's our central self here meditating. And then imagine a part of you next to you sitting down. A, a, a part of you, maybe a younger part or an older part. Maybe it's you from five years ago or 50 years ago, or maybe it's the future you. So just imagining them next to you on either side. Perhaps you have an older self on one side and a younger self on the other side. Or perhaps it's easier to imagine the part of you that's a certain role, like the mom me and the creative me on either side of me would be my, my way, perhaps, of imagining parts of myself. Whatever works for you today. And let's just allow a, a welcoming kind of spacious embracing of these different parts of us. We don't have to even talk or do anything, but it's almost like, what does your body do to be inclusive? My, my arms go up and almost like, like as if we're getting a photo taken when we all put our arms around each other's shoulders. What do you do? Do you hold hands? Do you, do you get close and feel that connection? Do you give a little space and honor these different parts of yourself in your own way? So even if you don't really know them or visualize, you don't have to visualize, but let the body be inclusive. So I let the arms and the hands just bring in that inclusivity, that, that generous spirit to accepting the different parts of me. It's saying it's okay for me to have more than my everyday self. Maybe it's including the higher self, the wounded self all together saying, I honor, I trust, I, I accept and welcome. 
And you might even make a little story for yourself. Like we sit together around a campfire or we share a lovely glass of lemonade on a, on a hot day by a river, you know, whatever it is for you. Taking a walk together. All of this allows our creative mind to bring this, this connection, this joining of inner friendship. And let's just see now if there's an energetic pattern our hands want to make of joining. It might be like stitching things together or whatever it is the hands want to do. Mine are like doing an interesting little, little circle shape, kind of like an infinity symbol as I hold two fingers together, creating that connection through time. And finding your own rhythm with this, your own, your own shape or pattern, allowing yourself to send a message of love and acceptance to yourself yesterday. Think of a moment yesterday when you were tired or just needed a friend and send that yesterday you a warm message. It might sound something like it's going to be okay, or I see you, or it could be a moment where there was something wonderful and you say, I congratulate you. I share in your joy. And letting your hands continue to weave and connect. Notice what it's like now to connect with a future self a future time. You don't have to know what that future is because you can't know really, but we can just send an intention of flow, of presence, of trust, of inner kindness, of appreciation. Whatever it is we want to share that intention with our future, our future self. Maybe it's an emotion like peace or or some other form of giving to your future self. So just honoring that. And then bringing your hands together in prayer position in front of your face, feeling the palms together, the fingertips. And as you breathe, let's just draw an easy line going up in front of our face with our palms together. This is a shape of integration, wholeness, inner connection. And then we'll just bring that line down, bringing our hands down. You might feel this in your body or just the heat of your hands. <sighs> there might be a sigh or a releasing of some energy as you do this. And just honoring whatever you're feeling, setting an intention for connection for grounding, for wholeness, inner trust, inner freedom, inner peace, inner love. And taking some nice big breaths, let's allow our exhale to just allow us to release anything that's needing to be let go of. The hands might support the release through flicking the fingers or just the breath as we exhale. So just take a few nice breaths in and out. And with the exhale, letting anything go that needs to be set free. And with the inhale, allowing that inner nurturing, inner filling with breath, with life, with joy. And then letting go with the exhale. Taking your time to come back through tapping your fingers together, starting with your your pointer finger and your thumb, and then moving to the middle finger, the ring finger, the pinky finger. I do both hands at once. 
and then working backwards in your own rhythm. And when you're ready, opening your eyes. And just take your time to notice your room, shapes, colors. Maybe your body needs some shoulder rolls or a little neck stretch, whatever you need today, a head pull, like a scalp massage, a hug. And I'd love to know how you're doing shares, questions. That one was a little different. Sleepy, awake. <laughs> and yes, I'll send out the replay. I know the time change could have caught some people off guard there. It's making me sleep in. I'm like, what's going on? I'm waking up at seven, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lavana, hi. Good morning, Maggie. Good morning. Thank you so much. It was beautiful and I don't know what was it. It's trance. <laughs> I just mm -hmm. the sooner I mean soon I just was tearing. I don't know why my body started to tear and when it's a release, like I had this it's like my body was talking. Uh, it was so beautiful. And uh, yeah, I, I, I even cannot describe. So I just want to thank you. Oh, thank you for sharing. And I'm so glad that, that you could have that and allow that to happen, you know? Yeah, it's wonderful. Um, anyone else have a share, a question? A thought about it. Maybe, maybe you want to share one of the resources that showed up. What was your ball or chair of earth that you sat in? So I've never, I've never led that before. That like showed up right before our meditation group that we could thinking of different ways to ground our energy and our imagination, but also in our body. And I think really getting close to that sense of what is under us supporting us is a really important part of, of the quality of centering and grounding. And so for me, it was like green moss. So sometimes, you know, I only get one thing very strongly. I know some people get a lot of detailed, like, like a whole earth chair or something. And some of us, it might just be one quality or one color. And that's perfect. My nose got itchy. Okay, I'm looking at some great messages and I'm not seeing any other hands go up. Let me know if I'm missing a hand. Oh yeah, Kate, I love that. Yeah, good to spend time with past, present and future parts. And you know, there, there's a lot of um, wonderful therapy and coaching that focuses on talking to parts of ourself. And I love that too. In activation method, we do a lot of that and talking to our emotions. But sometimes I find what's just very healing and important is when we let the body do that integration just through like imagining like arms around different ages of ourself or different roles we have and letting the body really in that meditation zone when our 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 sense of self is very relaxed and fluid that we can say okay here now i accept these different qualities of me or these different parts of me and it's 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 a different kind of integration it doesn't involve learning that much or communicating it's more of just like when we hug someone or we appreciate something in nature it's very in the moment okay joyce hi hello magley how are you good how are you 
I'm good. Wonderful as always um, doing your meditation. I always just get so much out of it and appreciate you. Um, so a couple things that came up for me today. Um, when we did the throat, I thought about how powerful our words are. And the thing that came to mind was listening to somebody beyond their words, not just hearing their words, but what are their meanings and listening beyond just the words that they're choosing to communicate. Yeah. And then the other thing that came up was um, compassionate living, mm -hmm. you know, living a compassionate life. Um, and that was kind of the main things that came up. And then I love the, um, the younger child and then the older woman were my partners <laughs> and just connecting. Uh, that was really cool. I liked that a lot. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. Oh, so. thank you for, I love your shares always, Joyce. Thank you so much. Thank you. And did anyone, I'm just wondering if anyone wants to share how it feels to just be in silence too during the meditation. Randy, hi. Share whatever you want to share, Randy. You don't have to share about my question. Uh, yeah, uh, I doing the meditation, just everything seems more vivid, you know? Because mm. like when I was in my 20s, I used to get really depressed sometimes. And when you get really depressed, it's like the color is just like sucked out of everything. But right now I feel really good and I feels like there's a lot of color right now so oh good and then also um i wanted to say i i took your course uh your energy course like yeah. a few months ago and like later on in the day two people almost the exact same wording you have such a good energy about you randy so I attribute that to your course. Oh, well, I attribute uh, it to your, to you, to your practice. That's amazing. That's wonderful. And uh, I, I found you through Tony Robbins. And uh -huh. I think everything that you, Tony, Mark, and Chloe do is amazing. And uh, I've got all of your books on Kindle. I've got the activation oh. method, relationship breakthrough. And every time I go through these books, I feel like, I know I've read it before, but I feel like I'm finding new nuggets every single time. Oh, I'm so and, glad. Uh, oh, it's so good to hear. Thank you. And then uh, like Lavana said, I, I don't know why, but when I do these, I get like a little teary eyed. I don't know what that's about, but I'm sure it's okay. Cause again, I feel good and everything is like the colors are just like popping right now. So. That's awesome. That's like well, the I call these healing meditations because one of the things like when I started this group five years ago, I didn't know it would go in this direction. I had no idea. But what what has sort of shown up for many people in the group is a releasing of energy, we could say. It, it might come in emotion and tears. It might come in laughter. It might come in, like for me, you'll see me twisting sometimes. And that's the way my body releases energy or stuck emotion. And so it is part of this form of practice. Um, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's always a good sign of there's a little flow of tears or, or, yeah. or just even the hands moving, you know, it can be different on different days. Some people shake a little. Yeah. I don't know how you do it, but you always, you always make it seem like everything's okay. Oh, um, Thank that's, you. That's well, hopefully everything is at the deepest level okay even when it's not okay on the everyday level you know what I mean I think that's yeah. one thing kind of I try to lean into is that sometimes everyday life is really hard and yeah. yet if we can trust our inner inner knowing that at a very deep level we're we're living and everything is okay. So thank you. Thank you, Randy. Thank you. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Aisha shared about imagining underground structures. You went down low. I like that, Aisha. That's awesome. 
and and being a giant wow wow very cool all right well today was kind of a special meditation group for me personally because in the night I had dreams of leading this meditation group in advance of it so it was nothing actually in my dream time you guys it was not such an easy meditation group everyone in the meditation group was telling me they couldn't focus and they were distracted and and so it was one of those I don't know if you've ever had a rehearsal sort of experience where um it's I don't know my dream was very interesting because also every about half the people in the meditation group in my dream were spirits. They weren't living people. And um, I don't know. I don't know what that means exactly, but I, I felt a sort of special quality all morning after having that dream. And um, in the dream, I wasn't able to really meditate, but I was really trying to, which I think is a good sign. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever had dreams where you're meditating, but it's a pretty cool thing to set an intention to experience, to meditate in your dream. And um, I'm going to keep working on that. And if any of you guys, I'm, I'm you know, I'm kind of joking here, kind of not. Anyone want to dream meditate with me? Maybe I'll start making some, um, I'm thinking about making some meditation journeys for falling asleep and for dream time because I listen to those made by other people and I find them interesting. So I might try it. So if I already put you to sleep, I'm going to make a meditation that that's the whole intention to fall asleep. Okay, guys. Um, I, I love this. I love this group. Love being here with you guys. And if there's anyone else who wants to share or ask a question, please raise your hand. Um, you know, I never post it anymore. I kind of assume that those of you who are on Facebook ha already have ways to connect or you use our Coaching Institute Facebook group. There's about 1600 of us in that in that meditators group. But if you're not in it and you want to connect with other people who regularly do this meditation, a lot of people do it at different times than the live time. But you can you can um, write to support and we'll send you that link or you can look at um, our Facebook page, Coaching Institute, and I think you can select groups and join it. It's open to anybody. And Moses, hi, how are you? Let's see if you can unmute there. Yes, Magalie. Yes. Good. How are you doing? Okay. Uh, it's a little slow today. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the dreaming. And yeah. you've given suggestions before on when we have dreams, how we say things that we can say to possibly get feedback. Uh, from our inner selves, our dreams, to yeah. move us forward. I wonder if you have suggestions or do you have a, a space somewhere that I can come and practice that or is are there exercises? And I know there are. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, will, me so that I, I will share with you, Moses, um, links to past meditation groups I've done where we're doing like how to create a dream intention and so you can hear the whole thing but right now just to give you you know something to try out it's really nice to when during the day when you're awake if you practice saying to yourself this is a dream then you're setting the word play in your head that when you're actually dreaming you'll say to yourself this is a dream so you're kind of conditioning yourself to say out loud, this is a dream. Now, if you're extremely dissociative, you could say this is not a dream <laughs> because you don't want to tell yourself everything's dreamlike if you know you uh -huh. tend to disassociate. So either way, when you say that in your dream time, and you will say it in your dream time if you say it 10 times in the day, then it helps you wake up to the fact that you're dreaming. And then in that uh -huh. moment, you can ask your dream, Moses, whatever you want to ask it. You can say dream 
give me a conversation with the universe or dream, show me this, whatever you want to ask your dream when you're aware that you're dreaming. Right. Um, right. The other thing, you know, I, I'm a big believer in flying in the dream. <laughs> oh, that's scary. <laughs> Well, it's not in a dream, right? We can make our body very light and just float up just like we're, you know, angelic beings kind of uh, floating around the room or going outside into the sky. And it's a, it's a beautiful energy experience in the dream. So if you, do you become lucid in your dreams, Moses? Do you know you're dreaming? Yes. 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 Yeah. that's pretty yeah. amazing yeah. yeah yeah so before you go to dream at night set an intention set an intention for what you'd like more of in your dream okay and um I'd, my, I'd get, my like peace. i'd like more peace oh beautiful so maybe maybe you can fill because that out with the, you know, Okay. Okay. I, I was talking over you, so I wanted you to say more about that. What is that piece? What would that be like in the dream? Uh, rather than past that rem past scenes that and activities that remind me of the past, mm -hmm. um, I want more present or future, present, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that guy's toe there, a present that's invigorating because the past dreams, being in the past, seem to take me down. They feed into my depression. Right, right. When I awaken, when I awaken it's like that's the first thing that hits me where I've just come from. Right. And it takes me a minute to get up and to even get over that. So I, right. I want something more positive. Yeah, and I understand so often, you know, the dream time is a is a space of processing the past for many people, especially traumas from the past. So it's like a sign that you're you're your subconscious is working to heal that the cool the cool thing is that most people who get lucid actually have nightmares so being afraid in a dream when you realize i don't like this i'm in the past or i'm i'm afraid in some way that's a really good thing because it wakes you up in the dream so if in that moment you can stay in the dream and say now i'm going to go to my peaceful forest that's invigorating and positive and and know what that place is whether it's like the beach or it's time with a certain person whatever it is remind yourself you can go there now because you're lucid and awake in the dream even if you're awake in a nightmare so i don't know about you I, you didn't wow. mention the word nightmare moses but people who do have nightmares including me i've had plenty of nightmares they are a blessing because they wake us up in our dream and then we can become explorers of the dream we can adventure in our dream so yeah. when yeah. i share the dream with someone they call it a nightmare <laughs> that is oh. a dream that's a nightmare you know so <laughs> Yeah. Well, tell me how it goes. Try some of these things, Moses, and I'm going to email you those links to the classes. So you see the kind of all the okay. steps I outline. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And I'll, I'll share that this week, actually on YouTube. I'll share that with everyone more about those dream practices. It's one of my favorite things. Okay. Tanya. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to share that when I was doing, you know, during COVID, we were doing pranic healing with certain patients. And at the end, so you were doing this kind of energetic healing. 
And at the end, we would put them in this kind of this container of ultraviolet light with all this gold and all this beautiful, beautiful energy and just let them sit in that. Yeah. And so when I had, I had to have this big surgery and I was in the hospital, I was kind of thinking, okay, how do I heal myself? And I had, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's this symbol. No, it doesn't show very well here. It's, but it's not it's really like showing man- up on that. Yeah. No, it's like a mandala with green uh-huh. and flowers and all these things. So what I did when I was, in the hospital is I just imagine myself inside this ball mm. and I would imagine this beautiful ball of energy inside all my cells. So it was like this healing bath, like what we did with pranic healing. And then I would put myself to sleep in that. Mm. And I really feel it helps so much. And I still use it for many things. So it's like yeah. finding something that you really love that makes you feel good or a place, like you say, and just, yeah. you know, putting yourself into that physical, or not physically, but in your yeah. mind. Before I find that really helps, and I've, I've sent that to some people, and it's helped them as well. So, I just oh, that's share. beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And and if anyone likes that idea, but maybe doesn't visualize or see energy that clearly, a simple one is an egg, a pink egg around you. <laughs> if you can, like, so actually, I try about I don't know five times a day to imagine a pink protective egg around myself. And that's a pranic healing practice too. You know, uh, (laughs) so just being like a little chicken in the egg. Yeah. (laughs) I have lots of associations to that, but you know, and then if you can like do what Tanya does, that's even like, that's like the next step, like making it very. And for some, if you're a painter or, you know, you don't have to be a painter, but you could just, play with with drawing with crayons anything that is the kind of egg or circle you would want to be in that can also really help um so the reason i guess pink the reason for the color pink like is um that it's in my case i'm prote- i'm trying to protect my energy and and the pink is um love And one of the greatest, you know, if you've ever read Harry Potter, love protects. So um, we want to, we want to, I work on, I, unfortunately, I received some pretty strong energy attacks, especially in the last couple of years. And so I work a lot on protective measures with pink to send love. So if anyone is sending something negative, I send back love. And that's a very protective quality. But it, it could, if you have another color that works for you, light lavender is a good one, gold, white light, all those things are good. Anna Maria, hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. What <laughs> cute, sleepy babies. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, they, I love you. them. Everybody, Look at them. Everybody, every, everybody is uh, <laughs> fell asleep while we meditate. But I just wanted to share a beautiful experience because I just came back from Colombia yeah so I had the chance to meet with a lot of my cousins and they remind me uh it seemed like I was one of the youngest of that generation so they spoiled me a lot that's what they tell me um but it was so beautiful when you kind of um you know told us to think about our different parts of ourselves I actually was, and it was very vivid. I was able to bring like my three-year-old me and my seven or eight-year-old me and take a picture and it was black and white, but it was very, it, it was beautiful. So I just wanted to share that with, with you. It was like a beautiful integration of, I, I don't know, really feeling the love and, you know, self-love like oh you were really cute you you know (laughs) so I just wanted to share that it was beautiful that is awesome thank you show us all the the sleeping beauties again (laughs) beautiful okay I gotta go in the other direction there we go oh my gosh hello guys (laughs) so sweet here's my my one is he's now 16 or 17 he had to stop working as a therapy dog but he's my joy and everybody thank you for sharing them and sharing your your 
younger self there that healing that is so beautiful it was, it was beautiful thank you <laughs> thank you <Yeah>. okay <laughs> so guys um sorry i'm 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 having a little spotlighting thing here anna maria here we go okay okay so everybody um <laughs> uh love the shares there from everyone in the chat about the energy bubbles about the transmuting energy um what to eat wow so many great shares i feel like you know if you haven't read everyone's shares take a little time because it's lovely to see what people the the words of wisdom of energy wisdom that we can all share and I, I don't know if you guys noticed it when you were meditating but my guess is you came up with a lot of your own unique resources your own your own unique way of being with that practice and and those of you who are in my meditation trainings and stuff that is it's kind of one of those pillars or foundational qualities of guiding these kinds of journeys that are sort of, you could say they're a little like self-hypnosis. They're, they're somewhere, they're like, they're in this area of journey coupled with some Buddhist meditation with some self-hypnosis. Wow, I sound like a total dilettante, but I do, I, I do really, you know, Maybe because it's my practice, I love it, but I find that it's very helpful for people. And one of the key pillars is empowering the group or the individual to have their own healing metaphors and resources and trusting yourself also as you guide these experiences and journeys and energy exercises, trusting your connection as a, as a guide with your higher self or your guides and angels so that what flows that day when you're guiding another person or a group is going to be what's needed. And that is probably the most important thing. So how do we build that skill? We practice. So even if you don't want to be a meditation guide, but you're interested in building that intuitive skill, See if there's a friend or a family member who wants to meditate with you and you lead them out loud a little bit for five minutes. See what that feels like. And, and to not with a script, but with that leaning into your own intuitive guidance or lead yourself, record yourself leading yourself. And um, it, I feel like I learned the hard way. It took many years of feeling nervous about it until finally that nervousness went away and it's just like oh okay what's going to need to show up will show up and um i think that we can all do it don't have to have any special skills don't have to be good at anything we can all do it so i hope you do it all right guys and and um i hope you have wonderful day and wonderful dreams and wonderful meditation practices coming up in your week and I will see you guys same place same time next week take care everybody bye bye